Uh, yeah, this vlog I was going to talk about the uh, the fans' impact on Pirates of the Caribbean and how we fit into all of this. And um, the, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the movie, was released, I think, in 2003, if my memory serves me correctly. And it was a huge smash. Everybody loved it. Everybody wanted to be a pirate afterwards. It was anything and everything that was pirates was hot at the time. And one of those fans was my best friend, Chris. Chris Fro, D'Onofrio, whatever you want to call him as, and um, he has one of the, he was a huge fan. I remember he saw it, I think, 14 and a half times. The half is coming from a downloaded version of the film, but he saw it 14 and a half times, and ever since then, he started dressing up as Jack Sparrow, and you know, after that, the rest is history. But uh, what I think it is is that now. I think now the the it's a couple years have gone by and he's still doing it. I think it's just you have to sort of appreciate the fact that hey, you know what? He really likes it. This is his version of Star Wars. This is something his he he's uh sort of his version of Star Trek. You know how people are obsessed with those, but yeah, he's obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean. Now because of that, we uh he had an idea to spurn off a series. So we had the first season, which was a blast shooting. And, uh, oh, well, other than right now, because our videos got deleted, but, uh, right now we had a good, we had a somewhat of a good response to the first episode. Um, there are a couple of them on the internet, on YouTube already, that you can check out, and I'm sure other people have, I'm sure a lot more people have checked out than this, than us. Um, there's, uh, Toby Markham, who, uh, was Sith Camaro. I know that him and Indiana who I think they both live on the West Coast, if my memory serves me correctly. They uh, they both had a series, and they had like some sort of contest that we that they had against each other to see who came up with the better parodies. Uh, I think I'm not sure who won that one, but I'm sure we'll find out one day. And you know, personally, I would like to use. I would like to have start like all the Jack Sparrows on the internet to start coming together. Maybe we'll just come up with something where. We're all facing against each other or something like that. You know, that's just my personal, that's just my personal preference on it. You know, but I also wanted to talk about the other Jack, uh, Jack Sparrows, how some of them are good. I think that, I think overall the best one other, like I, I the best one overall I think is uh, Toby Markham. I think he does a pretty good job with it, and I plan, uh, you know. I think he does a pretty good job with the whole Jack Sparrow impersonation. I don't think Chris is the best one, personally, but he's definitely better than some people out there. I will admit that. Uh, Chris, uh, I will admit, though, that Chris does not have the voice down. But I think that for the college setting, his voice is perfect. Because he still is a... Uh, and if we can't get his voice right, we could always kick him in the balls a couple times. But I think who has the best voice is uh, Indiana. But I don't think he has the overall look of Jack Sparrow as some of the others do. So it's just, you know, it's a, I think it's just it all depends on who likes it and who doesn't like it. So, you know, that's how it is. Or maybe, you know, I could talk about Goldilocks and the Three Bears or talk about the, the, Ger the Angry German or the Dramatic Squirrel. You know, it's just... That's just how it is. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it for my blog. Like I said before, now we're, we're going to be talking about... Uh, next blog, we'll be talking about the cast, the season two, then the crew, and how big it's gotten ever since season one. So, this is director Ernie Leu. Remember, peace, love, and soul. Thank you.